<laughs> Intel's new Devil's Canyon line of CPUs is really aimed at overclockers who want the best CPU performance possible. Now that we've had some time to play around with the new chips, we decided to see just how far we could push the i7-4790K when overclocked on water. Although people were hitting 5GHz plus at the Intel event, the chips that were used there were definitely bin and they also had liquid nitrogen running in their setups. In our power draw test, we used a kilowatt to measure the total system power draw when both idle and under load. What we found that at stock settings, the 4770K actually consumed more power than the 4790K. When we had both running at 1.25 volts and 4.4 gigahertz, they drew about the same amount of power. When we overclocked the 4790K to 4.8 gigahertz, it required that we increase the V core to 1.37 volts and resulted in a huge increase in power consumption. In our temperature test, we let the computer run the Lynx stress test for about 30 minutes in order to get our load temperatures. For our stock results, we had both CPUs use the standard heatsink which is included with the CPU. For the overclocked results, all tests were done with a water cooling setup that had a 360mm radiator. In the end, the new i7-4790K Devil's Canyon CPU is definitely an improvement over the original 4770K. It overclocks better, and due to the new thermal interface material, the temperatures are much lower. If you currently have a 4770K, there isn't much reason to upgrade to the new chip. However, if you are planning a new build, you'll definitely want to go with the Devil's Canyon line of CPUs.